episode of Car Addiction. Today, a friend of mine, Farhan from uh, Toronto Honda, he hooked me up with two vehicles, 2011 Honda CRV EXL and a 2014 uh, Nissan Pathfinder. So I'm going to do a buying video for both the vehicles. If this is your first time in this channel, what I do is I make a lot of buying guide videos, I make tiny DIY products, and I do a lot of product reviews. So please hit the like and subscribe button to stay updated with awesome content. Hey everybody, I will be giving away the Car Addiction window stickers to one lucky subscriber every month. So please hit the subscribe button right away. So if you're looking to buy a uh, 2011 Honda CRV XL, uh, first of all, they are fantastically reliable vehicle. Uh, when you are uh, looking to purchase one, just make sure, uh, you know, the kilometers are between 100,000 kilometers or 60,000 miles to close to 100,000 miles or 160,000 kilometers so that, so that you have a couple of years of good driving experience because these vehicles last uh, well beyond 300,000 kilometers. Uh, uh, one of my neighbor who has one and uh, he's at 325 and and he plans to keep driving and until it falls on the road. So in terms of the the reliability of the motor and the drivetrain, uh, there isn't much to say because they come with a K24 motor. Honda used that K24 motor in a bunch of different places and also that K24 motor uh, in the car community is a legend because um, a lot of people take that motor and swaps it out into different makes and because that's the reliability of the motor and there's a lot of aftermarket parts for it, aftermarket performance parts for it, not saying you should turbo your uh, CRV, that would be a great challenge but don't do it. So all you need to know or look for these vehicles, if you live on the northern area where uh, you got a lot of snow and salt, uh, just keep out for rust and uh, typically the rust is around the the front and rear wheel well uh, um, look at inside the inner fenders and uh, the control arms on these vehicles are horrible for rust uh, they go and if you find a vehicle which has rusty control arms or uh, there's a little bit of control arm movement um, don't walk away uh, just try to make a better uh, price negotiate get a better price the suspension of these vehicles they go again uh, not a massive problem uh, um, you can find them 
very inexpensive to replace. So again, just negotiate, get a better deal for yourself and get the work done by a professional mechanic. Um, there's two major complaints with this vehicle. Number one is the AC compressor. The AC compressor dies, so hopefully you buy, you're buying this vehicle on a hot summer day, take it out for a spin, crank the AC up all the way, and let's see how it cools. If it cools nice, not a big deal. If it doesn't cool nice, still not a big deal. Again, just wear your negotiation hat, get yourself a better deal because those compressors are not that expensive. You can replace it with $800 to $1,200 good to go that includes labor sometimes they seem to have issue with the locking module so if you put your gear from park to drive the locks of the door locks and then you go to the stop sign even though you didn't put the lever back to park the door unlocks when you start rolling the door locks again um, it's it's a weird problem sometimes if you just swap out the the, the control module uh, uh, it takes care of itself and uh, uh, if the vehicle is under some sort of a warranty the dealer will do that or if you go to a nice Honda dealership they'll probably just take care of you anyway because it is an inexpensive fix. So you can buy those vehicles and drive them until they fall off probably like 400,000 kilometers and when you do that call your neighborhood African exporter because these exporters buys these high mileage uh, Honda vehicles, exports to Africa, and then turns them into taxi cab or farm vehicle, and then the, they, these vehicles run another million kilometers or something like that. So they never die. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, thank you for Honda Honda, and especially Farhan. He uh, took time off from his work to help me uh, find that vehicle, and he stayed around. Uh, he was a little shy to come in front of the camera, but next time I'll figure out a way to get him in front. Wonderful guy. If you're interested in buying that 2011 uh, Honda CRV, uh, see the link in the description for Farhan's contact. Hit him up. Uh, he'll help you out uh, with the process. If that vehicle is sold, I'm sure they have over a thousand vehicles in their stock, so they will find you something from their inventory. Please hit the like and subscribe notification and stay tuned for more awesome content to come in.